Eleven years ago, I was a stranger who gate crashed your 18th birthday. And I remember standing behind the huge crowd, staring at you while you were entertaining your guests. Your party was star-studded, filled with celebrities. As I looked at you, my world seemed to stop. And I remember thinking how beautiful you are. At that very moment, reality struck. I thought to myself, I'm just a nobody from the province who used to swim in the log pond of Marta Drive. There is no way I can end up with a celebrity. Soon after, I felt the hunger in my stomach and immediately remembered that I came just for the food. I then ate and ran. This, I thought, was our first and last meeting. However, God has His ways. Four years after, He gave us another chance to meet, this time more appropriately. I officially met you at a restaurant in Makati. It was a simple dinner, but little did I know that our friends had intentions for the both of us. After the dinner, to my surprise, our friend offered me to drop you home. Because I wanted to impress you, I said yes. As soon as, as, soon as we both entered the car, I remembered my fuel is slow and my wallet was empty. I started thinking that I am doomed. This might be again the last time I will see you. Suddenly, as though you were reading my mind, you offered to gas up. And without hesitation, I said, sure. <laughs> Full tank. <laughs> and that time, that, and that was the start of our relationship. Our love story did not begin perfectly and we faced a big responsibility early in our lives due to our own miscalculated actions. When I lost my father, you never left me and were there to comfort me. I thank God because through these challenges, we both grew, we got to know each other better, we learned from each other and more importantly, we both found Christ and deepened our relationship with Him. Han, thank you for inspiring me to be the best version of myself. Thank you for accepting me for who I am. I'm honored because you are humble and down to earth. Thank you for your endless patience, for always supporting me and encouraging me to pursue my passions and my aspirations. Thank you for being the best loving mother to Athalia, for being my supportive partner in parenting. Han, today I take you to be my wife and vow to fight our battles with you with God's help. I vow to spend the rest of my life with you in good times and in bad times. I vow to put God first at the center of our relationship, be patient and respect you and care for you as long as we both shall live. I love you and to God be the glory. Vino, Han, my about to be husband in a minute. Finally, here we are. Closing a page and now starting a new chapter. We've been through many trials and can you believe by the grace of God we survived and we're here at this very moment honoring him making him happy and proud obeying his command since Athalia came I've been telling myself that you are God's gift to me I didn't know what I wanted that time and you just came rescued me from the pain of the past. Finally, I found my place, my contentment, my peace. Through you, God showed me that I can be taken care of, that I can be loved, I can be heard, and understood for all the struggle and sacrifices I went through in life. Ikaw pala. Ikaw pala yung finish line. Ikaw yung happy ending. Ikaw yung reward. Nasimula noon, everything made sense. Of course, there were still hardships. But this time, may kasama na ako. Kasama na kita. 
hindi na lang ako nag-iisa. You're the family I wanted. I basically found my life in you. You and Athalia. You are my life. You are my home. Yes, we clash. We're not perfect. But I'd rather have bad times with you than good times with someone else. <laughs> but with all that, I keep going back to the wise and I always realize that I'm still really lucky to have a man like you in my life after all. I know it's not easy dealing with me for I'm the strong personality one in the relationship. But from now on, as your wife, with God, and everyone here, as my witness, I will submit to you wholeheartedly. Because in a way, if I submit to you, it really is the Lord who I'm submitting to. Because from this day forward, you will be representing Him. I will give my 100% trust in you, for He is your foundation. I will become better for you. I will respect you. I will always choose to love you every day. Attend to your emotional needs. Listen to you. Encourage you. I promise to be gentle and sweet. Watch my words and actions that might hurt you. Widen my patience. Be mindful of my bad habits. Dami na to, ha? Practice Proverbs 31 and be the wife of your dreams. And when I fail to do so, sumbong mo na lang ako sa mga witnesses natin today para matauan ulit ako. Planning the wedding definitely tested the relationship. We encountered some petty arguments and misunderstandings. But it also showed me your willingness to let your guards down for the betterment of a relationship. And with that, it made me more hopeful and excited for what's to come. Because you taught me that our improvement as a couple doesn't end there. There's still so much room for the both of us and we will grow together day by day, holding and guiding each other's hands with God in the center. After all this, it wouldn't be everyday paradise. It will not come easy. But with God's help and provision, I promise to always be reminded of His words and teachings and become the better version of myself so I can give my all and best to you. Han, thank you for all the big efforts that you've done for me and Natalia. I'm so proud of the man you have become. Especially the day that we agreed to stay away from the temptation of lust and keep our purity till our wedding day. So later, I can't wait. I can't wait too. Choke. It's been a year. Keep it up. <laughs> Never doubt yourself. You're doing just fine. But I do believe that together we will make it. We will make all our dreams come true. Everything we're hoping for, we will make it happen. As long as we follow the Lord. I can't wait for you to become the spiritual leader of our home. I know you will be a godly example to our family and to Athalia. And I promise that I will be by your side even when life gets tough. You're a wonderful, great person. You're beautiful, not just your face, but especially your soul. I love you so much. Let's do this. We can do this. <laughs> By God's grace, I promise to share my life with you in all faith and gentleness, through joy and sorrow, in abundance and lack, in well-being and poor health, till death do us part.